This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap with Ivan Caesar. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Market Wrap for July 2nd, 2007. My name is Ivan Caesar, and this is the news. Stocks took off in style today as investors disregarded subprime woes and enjoyed a dose of lower long-term interest rates combined with strong manufacturing data. Dow Jones Industrial Average was higher by 126 points, closing at 135.35. NASDAQ was the strongest gainer, up by more than 1% with 29 points, closing at 26.32. While the S&P 500 also made a comeback as financial stocks regained their upside growth. It closed higher by 16 points at 15.19. U.S. manufacturing grew at a fastest pace in June. The Institute of Supply Management's monthly index came in at 56 in the month after a 55 reading in May. Any reading above 50 indicates growth in the sector. Economists had a forecast the index would stay unchanged at 55. Oil prices rebounded Monday from early declines to settle above 71 for the first time in 10 months as traders refocused on a refinery outage in Kansas and new accusations about Iran's role in Lebanon and Iraq. The closure of a 108,000 barrel per day refinery in Coffinville, Kansas, due to flooding, reignited concerns about the refining industry's ability to keep pace with summer gasoline demand. According to the Bank of Japan's influential Tankan report, sentiment among Japan's large corporations came in as expected in June, with the results not expected to upset a rate hike later this year. Despite mounting uncertainty over the U.S. economic outlook, business sentiments remained upbeat. The Japanese central bank's widely watched sentiment poll showed the headline diffusion index for large manufacturers Business conditions remained at 23 in June, unchanged from the March survey and in line with consensus expectations. For Stocks in the News, Citigroup said it's agreed to buy an automated trading desk for $680 million in cash and stock. ATD will be operating as a division of the bank's global equities business. The bank said it made a number of deals in electronic and alternative execution, including the acquisition of Lava Trading, Knight's options market-making business, TD Waterhouse Capital Markets, and the OnTrade ECN. The biggest telecom in Canada said it has agreed to a nearly $49 billion deal that would make it the country's largest takeover ever. New owners of BCE Inc. will be led by the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, but it also include U.S.-based provider Equity Partner and Madison Dearborn Partners. BCE deal marks at least six significant size buyouts that Madison Dearborn has taken a lead role this year. Bear Stearns is reportedly having difficulty calculating the exact amount of losses at two hedge funds it runs, and investors will have to wait as long as two weeks for a current accounting of their value. The Wall Street Journal reported that the illiquid nature of many of the exotic mortgage-backed securities the fund holds is making it difficult to value the holdings. AT&T has agreed to buy Dobson Communications for $13 a share in cash or $2.8 billion. 
including that the deal is valued at $5.1 billion. Dobson markets wireless service under the Cellular One brand to 1.7 million subscribers. The company has provided roaming service to AT&T and its predecessor companies since 1990. Daimler Chrysler said it will delay the release of its full second quarter financial report until August as it works to complete the sale of a majority stake in its Chrysler division to Cerberus Capital Management. Automakers said work to transfer a majority of interest in Chrysler was ongoing and the sales closing would result in substantial changes to its financial reporting for the April-June period. Scheduled earnings reports for Tuesday include Japan Holdings Company, Radcon Limited, Camtech, RIT Technologies, Stonepath Group, and Thor Industries. This has been the Premier Trade Market Wrap for July 2nd, 2007. Include very slow earning reporting the day before the 4th of July. Look for earnings from Japan Holdings. That's what you wrote. That's what I wrote. That probably is what I wrote.